give the floor for International Service for Human Rights. Mr. President, resolving crisis requires that states treat human rights as paramount and apply human rights laws and standards in a principled and consistent way, addressing the root causes of the situation. The selective and inconsistent application of international law is undermining the integrity of the framework and of this institution. We continue to witness the commission of atrocity crimes across the world, including against Palestinians, Rohingyas, Sudanese, and Uyghurs. States and non-state actors use dehumanizing rhetoric online and offline to justify crimes committed with the intention to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnical, racial, or religious group. In the context of 76 years of denial of the Palestinian people's right to self-determination and return, Israel continues to impose its colonial apartheid and commit atrocity crimes with impunity. Special procedures have repeatedly raised alarm at the situation and called on states to implement an arms embargo on Israel, heightened by the ICJ ruling that there is a plausible risk of genocide in Gaza. They express profound concern about the support of certain governments for Israel's strategy of warfare against the besieged population and the failure of the international system to mobilize to prevent genocide. ICJ provisional measures on Myanmar and Palestine based on similar legal cases with states supporting the proceedings in one and opposing it in the other. This is also the reality when it comes to member states voting on accountability mechanisms at the HRC. The Council has a prevention mandate and UN member states have a legal and moral duty to prevent, ensure accountability and run recurrence for atrocity. You.